Mr. Bill, Don Z52, I think it is, he put out a video the other day about uh, collecting cartridges and stuff. That's what he likes to get into. Uh, I found these, uh, when did I get interested? 75, maybe, or the early 70s. And this is just some of the stuff that they had. I'm pretty sure that was 75. March 1975. Well, anyway, I saved this stuff. This is cartridge collecting. And by Charles Sundam, and that was 1977. I mean, these people really get into collecting this stuff. I'm um, probably going too, too fast here, but you know, I've saved, I just had a habit of saving things. Another one by Charles Sundam. But these are old paintings, early gun posters. But uh, one of the things that he was showing was uh, some trench art from World War I, and they have a book out. Uh, I can't remember when I got this. It's been a few years back. Uh, but it was $65. But, I mean, different things that uh, people inscribed. Back up. Right before World I. And there's some stuff. Um, Trench Art of the Great World, World, yeah, Trench Art of the Great War, from Wilden somewhere in France. A lot of stuff was made by uh, disabled soldiers after the war. They used, they they did this for therapy. Um, I mean, there's all kind, all, all kinds of stuff in here. I mean, they made submarines, airplanes. I mean, you name it. But this, this way it gives the, the disabled soldiers a means of uh, fending for their self after they got home from the war. There's a souvenir booth from the French Front, 1915. I mean, there's so much stuff, I just won't go through there because I, I don't want to run out of time. I only got like 15 minutes of this uh, video and i got to go a little bit fast and I, I don't mean to. That furnace finally kicked off. when they had to sit around in those trenches and nothing to do they'd find something to to engrave 
I mean, they did that during World War II with uh, their uh, Zippo lighters. I wanted to show you this. This is by Jane Kimball. I'll write this in the description. That's what I'll, I'll end up doing. Uh, here's uh, another thing from this uh, Charles Sundom. Uh, where it is? Oh, uh, this is by Stuart. This is 1979. Uh, here's a, a list of 1977 of what these uh, cartridges were running. This is back then. If you had them. And you look at the prices. I mean, there's a whole list in here. I just won't go, go completely through everything. But this here is, uh, is for shotguns. Now here's uh, U.S. cartridges in their handguns. This is cartridges of the world. You can see the different boxes on, on the front of it. There's American. There's a lot of different books out there. You just got to look around and find out what, you, what, what interests you. Okay, move, move, move your butt. Yep. Yep. Everybody wants to get it on in on the, the video, I guess. That's a poster collection. Let's see if I can find anything in here that's exciting. Oh yeah. Type places. Remington cartridges. UMC. DuPont. Anything in here? Oh yeah. DuPont. Winchester Big Game Rifles and Ammunition. Remington. This, this, this stuff's out there. I mean, you just hunt around for it. You can find it. These old posters. It's a woman out hunting. Another piece? No, I guess not. Here's some more stuff. Fine art of cartridge collecting. It was Cincinnati in 1973. And what do we got here? I mean, somebody's got a heck of a collection there. But, uh, yeah, Mr. Bill... He had that thing out there, and I go, man, he's got a nice uh, engraved uh, uh, cartridge. Looks like a 37 millimeter from uh, World War One, and uh, it had been engraved. You know, the primer and all the powder and all that had been removed. But uh, I go, you know, that gave me an idea. There, a lot of people don't know about collecting old ammo in the boxes, especially the boxes guys, because they're the ones that tend to fall apart and you don't find them anymore yeah and uh, when I took my kids when I got divorced I took my kids to Florida for a couple years and when I left I left in a big hurry and I left all my old uh, cartridge boxes and ammo and stuff in the closet along with my collection of old uh, 
pocket knives. But like I said, they got this thing out. It's called Trench Art. Jane Kimball. And it was $65 then. I don't know what it is now, but uh, something else. There's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, Rimfire Head Stamp Guide. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff. It's early 70s to present. Rex. But Donzi, uh, thank you for putting that up there. I hope that this will pique your interest a little bit more. It should pique everybody's interest. If you're into anything outdoors or pertaining to what you uh, like in life, like you know, hunting, fishing, trapping, things like that, um, anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching and uh, good luck.